Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. You probably know more than I am. Alright, welcome back to Doom Tooth. We are here playing the Stanley Parable. And we're gonna go into this elevator. And I don't know what's gonna fucking happen. I don't, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. Every fucking second of this game, I don't know what's gonna happen. I love how you press down to call it, and then up to make it go. I just, I just pressed it, man. I just, I just pressed it. I'm sure, I'm sure if I press up or whatever, it'd be different, but... Use axe. These are awesome. Dizzy from dancing. Oh. Oh. How am I dizzy from dancing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> My head. Ugh. It's just that kind of day. Holy. Open the. Let's go, man. Oh, I pressed up. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. Are we. Oh. Uh, are you back? I don't know. Pre maybe press down. And then down. Yeah. Oh, fucking. But up and up. Okay. Okay. How does it go any further up than the top level? Do we know that? No. So how was work? It was good. Were there any dogs at work today? No, no doggos at work. Oh, no doggos. We did. We, we watched Pain and Gain, though. Uh, that movie? Uh, it's really long and kind of boring. It has its moments. <sighs> Is that the narrator? I swear I heard the narrator singing along to this. Is that you? It wasn't me the last It was totally one. the narrator. It was me the, just now, but... Yeah, I hear it again. He's fucking singing along. Did you hear him? Or is that Stanley? I don't know. It sounds like the narrator. Now push the up arrow. Oh my god. Oh. Can't get out. He said Stanley. Jeremy's listening very intently. Or if it was... <laughs> He's singing the whole time. You only, you only hear him through... Okay, fuck this. different now. After like 10 minutes on the elevator. <laughs> oh, why does it do that? Can I flush it? Put the toilet paper in it. Why are there, why are there cups? Okay, whatever. The guy, who, or whoever was, was singing along, if, if it was Stanley or the, or the narrator, he went, dun, dun, Stanley. <laughs> You're the boss now. Do 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 do. Get the fuck through. Okay. My thing is, why would a boss need an office this gigantic? So like, to what end? I don't know. It kind of reminds me of a. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again it reminds me of, uh, to discover not an indication of Dick and Jane, where he's like walking across the room and shake his hand. What could it mean? Long ass fucking room. Stanley wondered yeah. aloud. Just a waste to of nobody. space. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a Go keypad rip paintings behind down. the boss's desk. Is he, does he what tell me a different code this time? Be? In fact, this no. keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Oh. <laughs> You're like, eh? But of course... Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. 
What if there's just different codes? Why is it like that? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Shut up! Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. But what if it's not 2845? Wait, what? What? 2845. No! I don't want to put that in. 666. Six, six. It's six. a camera up there. Can you pull a painting down? So, what? Three? Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, <laughs> and the door just <laughs> opened all by itself, <laughs> and Stanley got the hell along with the story. Wow. Oh, wow. So sassy. Whether you want to or not. Sassy. He's so sassy. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure last time I went down, there was a thing like this. Before the car area. I'm very confused now. Well, I'm confused the whole game, but. But extra confused. Stanley. I guess probably his name is Stanley, and there's a guy named Stanley in the office. Hey. But he's black. He is. Well, it's his name anyway. Is what is his last name? Stanley Hudson. There we go. Alright, down the elevator again. This time, let's not go with the escape hatch. Let's go. Stanley walks to the head through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Alright. Hmm. Say so. The lights rose on an enormous it's room. It's cerebro. Television it's pretty much. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. He had the strength. To find out. Do I? Oh, I didn't see that. Do, 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 do. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, there's only one. I love how the other one was just a giant light switch. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Now it's the Matrix. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co yeah, definitely the Matrix. Lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. What the hell does that say? Why is it all red and... Okay. What if I press it again? Okay. Alright. Alright. Fucking... Let's go. Do, 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 do. 427. Which one am I? Um, this one. Let's go back to... I want to see. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Deep. No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Never. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. Oh, the God. heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Um. Okay. Hmm. Mind control status offline. Okay. Is there one that's online? I can fuck with. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, five. <laughs> I don't know why I got push it. I don't know why I got excited by the button five, but I did. Ooh, five. Oh, uh, what's over here? What's over there? What's, what's this? Another button. 
we were on something safe. That's bright. That is really bright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was a... Was there a button next to it? It looks like a reload button. It's fine. I tried, tried, tried pressing it. Oh, work. okay. I tried so hard. Where's the upstairs button? There we go. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Again, I don't know why. Crap. He's getting just randomly excited by buttons. Those are the same buttons that were in that weird white Yeah, yeah, plate. I know. Oh, boy. Uh, another button. Okay. Is that all of them? No, it's only four. Where's the fifth one? Well, you hit the fifth one on the other side of the room. Is that five? One, two. Oh, yeah, I hit five. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the fuck's going on there. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, we'll fix it later. Yeah, it's only. I'm missing a button. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah, there's a button. I pressed every button. Nobody asked you to. Uh, uh, press every button, and nothing happens. So, hmm. yeah, you gotta press them in order. All right, okay, hold on. I'll press these in order. I can't see shit now. Is it getting darker? No, I think it's because it's the contrast from the TV onto the screen. All right. Okay. One. Two. Is it getting darker? Three. Looks like it's a lot harder to see the ground now. Yeah, I can't see shit anymore. Um, yeah, it's totally getting darker. There's no way. Because I can't see anything. Four. Walking in the walls because I can't see shit. They will guide you. That's not helping. Okay. One last button to rule them all. Uh, where's the button? Is this always open? Is that what happened? This wasn't always open, was, was it? it? I don't think it was always open. What is this? Confused. All right. Well, I'm just gonna walk through the room, I guess. I don't know that room. Why the fuck that one? I can't Getting see. All I can't see around. shit. Waiting input. All right. Input. In. Power when at on. last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. Did I done good? Did I done good? Did I done good? And wake up in your pocket. What am I looking at? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Hmm. Was it over? Whoa, who said black? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet... Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley oh reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, Ernie. but 
to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Okay. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. Meta. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Yeah. Yeah, for Stanley. Or was he? Oh, um, this is different. This is different. This is different. All so. of his co-workers were gone. This what did it mean? So. Stanley decided to go to the. Having a panic attack Perhaps right now. He had simply missed a memo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you would freed yourself. Welcome to the whiteboard ending. Is, is that it? Is that the only thing I can? Stanley went around touching every <laughs> little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. Well, what the? Now, do you go to the whiteboard? I, I want to go, go to the whiteboard. I, I mean, might not even be anything in here. Yeah, just console. Bark. Summon bark. Okay. Confused. I'm very the white boy in it. Yay! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he <sighs> entered the door on his left. <laughs> okay, fucking fine. I'm going to the broom closet though. I'm gonna do it. But he says, oh, no, 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 Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking bitch. No. <laughs> he stopped me in the broom closet. Oh, man. Fuck this game. Coming man. to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. You're a piece <laughs> of shit. Hey, really. I love how ahead of time you even knew it. You're like, I'm going to go to this <laughs> fucking thing. Fucking, why is the door open like that? Okay. Oh, I can go back, apparently. Does the elevator work now? Should I even try it? I don't know. I'm just gonna go in. Yeah. Just go in the secret room. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Why? Not a living soul no, anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley to take. No. Too much for any man to take. I know what he it is. fell to his knees, bursting into half moans. Half sobs, the gut. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> He's getting mad that at you. Kind now. of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few Oh my god. Some calming new age music. Yes, this is what I'm about. This is, this is what I'm about. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. <laughs> they made you wait for it, apparently. Oh boy. Go down. This fucking game. Well. Is this a new game, or are you just doing the same thing? I don't in the know. Same game? I don't know. It said the whiteboard ending, but that was just a room with words written on it. Yeah, but there was a different room when I started. I never started like that before. No, but is that part of the same? Thing? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read "Mind Control Facility." <sighs> oh my god! I'm gonna turn it on this time. It lets me. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought. Fuck you, narrator. 
Fuck Don't yourself. You're a fucking piece Fight of shit. Out. Fuck yourself, piece of shit. Fuck that house. That's right. I can be sassy too. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His he was going fast in the last in time. someone else's control? I don't know. Never. Like, yeah, it was unthinkable. Yeah, probably Wasn't it? Maybe was it even involved. possible? Had he truly spent his entire life Utterly blind to the world. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. Sure all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past Turn it began on. to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible... Oh, Stanley... You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Whoa. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this well machine then. is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, oh. Oh, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Say uh, two minutes. Good. Ah, now this is fun. Things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Mm. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is open. much better than what I had in mind. Ah, oh, you we piece have of so shit! Little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means? I oh. barely know where to start. Oh. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you so exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a piece of shit. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you. Just laughing. Do running around doing that. I hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Oh, My but, goodness, only what? 34 oh, seconds mind. left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why yeah. not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. I, oh dear I, me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? That's exactly it. Or did you just assume what do you mean? You I, that, timer, I don't know. that something in this room was capable right. of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing I in this room. I don't know what to do. These numbered buttons. No, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Oh. One soul? 
Who says video game? Have any idea what your purpose Bring in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. Oh, good. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending. <laughs> Just you being blown to Also, that epic view. Will you cling desperately to yeah. your frail life? Sorry, you I'm not even talking much. Just kind of focusing. Another but. choice. Make I, I think it's off now anyway. Oh, geez. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. Well. I wonder if there's a way to beat that. <sighs> Alright, well, this is already in this episode. I don't know if we're gonna... We probably will play a little bit more of this. Um, but I am very confused by this game. But I like it, and I want to see more endings. Or, quote-unquote endings. So... But that's all we got time for right now, so we Stanley simply couldn't <sighs> handle the pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if he had to oh, make a decision? What if yeah, yeah. I close it. So we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. This fucking game, dude. <laughs> Just blowing your mind. So fucking weird.